Yes. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Breaking In, the path of the comic book artist. My name is Esau Figueroa. First of all, I wanted to thank you for joining us this week again. This is actually my second attempt for the video because I just did one and it sucked big time. So, uh, here it goes. It's been a month, a month and a week and we are still here, we are still doing this because we love it and we want to help help each other and help you to break into the comics industry. So what's new this week? Now as far as my goals go, my goal was to practice anatomy and muscles and poses. So far I've managed to practice poses. There's this site called uh, Postmaniacs. I don't know if you guys know this website, but it's it's a really it's a really useful website because there are tons and tons of re reference images for uh, you know, the human body. It's, I use it as a form of warm-up every day. I try to do 10 minutes, 10 minutes of, of uh, 10 poses. Uh, um, you know, each pose is 60 seconds. So I try to do, I, I, I've managed to do that for, for, for almost every day for during this past month and I'm, I will continue to do it. So, uh, so far so good. Um, we tend to favor the poses that we always do, we always draw, but it's always good to, sorry, it's, it's necessary actually, it's necessary to practice things that you're not used to draw, get out of that comfort zone, try new things, try new poses, um, draw weird angles because if you get better at those angles or if, if you're having trouble with those angles, that just means that you're practicing something that you didn't know before and you're gonna get better or uh, you're gonna get better with the previous angle but the, the ones that you always draw so draw the difficult angles and you'll get better at the simple ones and of course you get better at the complicated ones I'm gonna try to start another goal which is I'm going to try to write a uh, I have a couple of stories going on and I wanted to develop I want to develop some uh, some concepts you know some some characters that I have so I can you know, develop original content. As, uh, as my boy Lloyd says, to continue to produce high quality content, we have to produce uh, quality content. And um, I want to I wanna write at least, I don't know, the outline of, of one of those concepts for, for my next video. So that's, that's my goal. Uh, so I can at least have a, an elevator pitch for, uh, you know, for one of those concepts. So. I wanted to tell you guys two things, two big announcements. First of all, remember that I told you guys that I was working and it's something that I couldn't talk about it. Well, today was the launch date for Tyrants, which is the comic book, the title of the comic book that I, I've been working on for about two to three months, from December to February. It's a brand new book. It's a, it's a fantasy slash political slash superpower book. And, uh, and it's been real fun doing it. And at last I could talk about it. The author of the book, his name is Josh Barbell, an amazing writer, and he's a really cool dude. I've been working with him has been uh, a pleasure. I mean, this whole time he's been, you know, working out the kinks and um, trying to set up everything so that today, which is the launch day, we have all the social media ready. We have the um, you know, Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebook, and his new website for uh, his his publishing company, which is uh, Hollow Harbor, which I love that name, by the way. Yeah, Josh has everything ready for the launch date, and th that's it. I mean, today is the launch date. So uh, if if you like my work and you wanna, you know, you wanna support, uh, please go and check the websites, check the Instagram, check um, you know Hollow Harbor's uh, website, and uh, it's it's been it's been hard work. And I mean, it's just not just me. There's there's a couple of uh, other talented artists involved. Uh, one of them is Anders Sarate, which is a, a, an amazing colorist. He um, he did a really good job in the book. The second talented artist is none other than the awesome Rob Alarancha, which, by the way, coincidentally was a teacher of mine in the Cuba school. And now he's a you know an esteemed colleague, and he did an amazing job too with the uh, lettering. And I think with the editing of the book too, the uh, the book is about this this kid called his name is Autumn, and he is the son of a dethroned king. His father he he was left without a kingdom, just to uh, 
just to take care of of his castle, which now is is really uh, it's it's crumbling apart and it's it's really not a good sight. But since Autumn, it's he's growing up and he he has that rebellious attitude towards his father. When you when you read it, you're going you're going to see what Autumn is capable of. But all I can say is that he inherits some special kind of powers because that's the ability that his family has. He starts talking with his father. He kind of involves him into this political mind game. And that's when he starts to use to that's when he starts using his power and this adventure. So it is it is an intriguing book. I could describe it as I don't know, kind of like Game of Thrones meets Avatar The Last Airbender. Not the movie, uh, the James Cameron one, but uh, you know, the cartoon. If you like my work or if you want to you wanna just check out a different kind of book, just please go to the link in the description box. Uh, actually, I'm posting the link uh, right here. And go and check it out. Um, please tell your friends. If you can, if you can buy it and and you know spread the word because this is kind of like a, it is a it is a milestone definitely it's it's one of my goals to to be published it's I think it's a really it's a really good accomplishment all I, I can say that it's is that I will have to keep working hard even harder now and uh, try to keep the quality as 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 high as I can I'll keep working hard right now it's on Amazon or for the Kindle. Uh, you can read it on the iPad too, just uh, download the app, uh, I'll put the link uh, on the description box. I think it's going to be later on in Comixology, but uh, it, it's, a, it's a process, it takes a little bit of time. But right now you can go and get it here on this link in Amazon and go and check it out. It's a, it's a really cool book, well, I mean, the story is really good. Josh wrote a, uh, you know, a vast universe filled with characters that they are, they are really engaging characters. Um, this is just the first issue, so hopefully there 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 will be more. Yeah, that's that, I mean I'm I'm really excited about it. This is my first publishing published book. Sorry, it's my first published book. It's only the, in the digital format right now, but and uh, with time with time, I uh, I hope we we can get some some printed copies. And uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. Second announcement. I'm going to a comic convention called La Mole, which is an international comic convention in Mexico City. It's one of the big ones here, two times a year. This is the second one, and this is my first time participating with uh, with the table. And I'm really excited about it too because even though I've been, I mean, at Comic Con, I've never actually been, um, you know, on the other side of the table, selling stuff and doing sketches uh, in a, in a com in a con as as big as this one. It is. It is almost as in size. I think it's as big as Comic Con, but well, actually, I don't know because I've, I've never been to uh, La Mole Comic Con. But uh, I've heard that it's really good, and there are some awesome artists coming over as guests. I think Greg Capullo was in this past uh, La Mole Comic Con. He, he's not gonna be in, in this one, but we do. We are having. Uh, I think it's Todd Knock. He's coming over. Uh, Babs, she draws Batgirl, if I'm not mistaken. Who else? Jay Lee, which he's an awesome artist too. And who else? Well, I forget. But there are some really cool artists from from Mexico here, and that, that are going to be over there. A couple of friends of mine, and we we're going over and, and just gonna try to try to uh, you know have an awesome time. Ernesto, uh, one of my friends here at Breaking In, one of my little brothers, he's actually going to uh, he's going with me. And we're good. we're both gonna have a table right there at uh, La Mole Comic Con, and uh, it's gonna be fun. I really hope that uh, we can see you guys there. I mean, any of you guys that if, if you happen to swing by, uh, we'll be we'll be super super happy to say hello. And, and so that's the second announcement, and it's been a really awesome start of a week. <laughs> it's it's I mean I know that people don't like Mondays, but this this has been a pretty cool Monday. So. Um, just in summary, that's it for now. I hope you guys liked um, this video. I hope this helps you. I hope this 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 is useful to you and to anybody that want to watch this. So um, keep in keep in tune for the War God Aries. He'll upload his video in two days. So uh, just uh, be aware of that and um, stay with us. If you want to break in, remember never give up, never surrender. 
and keep working hard. <laughs> Witness.